how to not approach girls at the gym. What if I just ripped his pee pee out of his saga so he can never reproduce again? This is why I don't want kids. Natural selection better take care of the weirdos out. He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21 year old. Okay, this is a joke, I think. Like some of this is. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. I hate everyone involved in this because there's a stitch incoming right now. It, but the, the guy that stitched into this, that like talked about it, this popped off. I just don't like any of the people involved in this. So this is the guy that like is shitting on the lady. Now, this is a very real problem. Okay, if you have any girlfriends, if you know any women in your life that work out, you know that women uh, get approached in the gym a lot. You know that like uh, women get stared down at the gym a lot. This is literally a problem. This is literally an issue, uh, and and a lot of uh, a lot of people feel uncomfortable because of this. Um, a lot of people feel uncomfortable because of this. It, it's just like understandable, normal. And let's be real, that guy is staring. He is. He is staring a little bit. Him coming over on the also on the other hand, like to put the weight up, to put the weight up, to help her put the weight. That in and of itself is like trying to establish contact in the nicest way possible. So while it's like, you know, while it's obvious that he's like staring and while it's obvious that he's like trying to establish contact, he didn't do anything over the top. He didn't do anything bad. He didn't do anything that's like, you know, insane, like unacceptable. It, like, why? Why are you this mad? You know, th this is like, I, I don't even think he was like hitting on her. He just... He was just being nice. It's still a little weird, but he's being nice. Like he's not, he, he's not like uh, trying to fucking riz her up. He's not actually like uh, being like, hey, what's up, babe? This is a normal thing that you do at the gym, okay? You do this to guys, you do this to girls. Like if I see someone on the bench press, for example, and they're lifting by themselves and I see them putting up a, a really heavy weight that they're struggling with, I'll go over there and be like, do you need a spot? Okay, it's just like a part of, of like gym etiquette, gym culture, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter if it's a woman, it doesn't matter if it's a man. You, you just, you do it. It's just courtesy, it's, it's etiquette, right? And he did that too. He walked over and he said, hey, you need help? You want, you, but like, he maybe shouldn't have touched the weight, but like, that's it. It actually matters if it's a woman. Wait, why? The hilarity of the situation is that like, it's a weird one because her concerns are valid. Okay. Her concerns are valid. If you know anyone, if you know a woman that goes to the gym, if you, if you know a single, single female that actually works out, you know that this is something that they are uh, consistently, understandably upset about because dudes are kind of fucking creepy in the gym. They're constantly staring. They're being weird. Have you ever asked a man if he needed help putting the weights on? Yeah. As a woman, this type of behavior is wrong. It makes us uncomfortable. She's not overreacting at all. I think it's uh, it's the fact that women can't go to the gym without their bodies being gawked at. He wasn't even working out. He was standing there watching her. First of all, we don't know the full video, okay? And I'm already admitting that he was staring, okay? He's staring. He's staring. We've all been there, okay? I myself have definitely been in that situation where, like, I notice myself looking at someone. doesn't matter if it's a woman. But definitely, I, I've noticed myself doing that, and I stop immediately. It's true. You look at you look at everybody at the gym. You know, it's just a thing. You look at people in the gym. I do understand why it's additionally concerning for women, though. And it gets additionally annoying for women because they're not just getting stared at. Well, one, there is always the ever-present threat of physical violence if you're a woman. But ultimately, even with the short clip that we saw, and I haven't seen the full thing, but even with the short clip, like, he comes over, he doesn't do anything that is, like, over the top, ridiculous. He is being a little weird. He is being a little weird looking, and then he comes over, and it's obvious, like, I don't know why men try to act like this isn't, he didn't come, he came here just to be kind. Like, no, he, wa he saw a cute girl working out, and he wanted to establish contact. I don't know why men look at the situation and go, that's not the case. He was just being friendly. Like, shut the fuck up. No, man. He 100% was staring and he 100% wanted to establish contact. My point is he wasn't being like over the top. He wasn't being over the top. He wasn't being gross. He was just being a little weird, a little starey. And he backed off immediately. He was like, oh, okay, my bad. He wasn't being over the top for you. For her, he was. So he was. Bro, there is like a objective way to look at this, okay? That's crazy. Like she felt like he was being over the top. Oh, okay. Well, you know, 
great. Like, I'm in this weird situation because, like, I do think that men usually make women feel very uncomfortable in the gym. I know that this is a persistent and common problem. We watched a video of a guy literally walking up to a lady on the on the leg press last week where the dude was straight up like, I have a wife, but I want to fuck you. <laughs> like, that was insane. That's an insane conversation. Why is he walking over? I hesitate to grab my weight because of him standing directly in front of him. Um, he go, he grabs it himself. You don't have to do that. He grabs it himself, which is which is definitely like undermining her a little bit. You know what I mean? It's not. It's like thirty five pounder, not super heavy. He thinks it's a good. He's a good way to approach her and and uh, open basically. That's it. He shouldn't have done that. Yeah, he thought that that was a good icebreaker. We've all been there. Just don't do it. That's it. And then all these fucking creepy misogynistic weirdos are like, well, she has a OnlyFans. Oh, I'm so grossed out by the sexualization I experience. Hopefully this spreads awareness for girls who experience the type of treatment at the gym. I'm also extremely antisocial. Being hit on is never a compliment for me. I despise being sexualized. It's like, bro, I don't understand. Like, did you not get educated? Do you not understand that like these are two separate things? For example, let's say someone is a stripper. Does that mean you could go over while they're eating fucking breakfast and put your dick on the table? The fuck is wrong with you? You fucking rapist. You fucking idiot. How do you not understand this? Like, people cannot comprehend that women can want to look hot, can want to look sexy at certain points. That does not mean that you can be creepy and gross and fucking weird. Women can want to do OnlyFans. That doesn't mean that, like, if you find out that they're doing OnlyFans, that you could be a fucking rapist in every circumstance. Context is important. Why the fuck do is super basic shit. Stop sexualizing people in areas where they do not want to be sexualized. That's it. That guy didn't even know she had an OnlyFans, but, like, it doesn't matter. My point is it doesn't matter if someone has an OnlyFans, okay? It's so weird that he thinks this is, like, an own, and it got 60,000 likes. When I see stuff like this, I literally think people need to be neutered, okay? Holy fuck. That's a good take. Exactly. You're a UFC fighter. What do you mean you don't, like, get beaten? You don't want to get beaten up outside of a bar. Dude, I don't understand. This is the reason why fucking famous boxers have to have security around them at all times. Because random fucking weirdos want to fight them. It's so stupid. Like, the consent. Consent is the main factor here. And, like, while she is a little over the top, in my opinion, in her reaction, okay, to an otherwise, like, normal situation, because this kind of stuff happens in social uh, settings, I, I don't know why men take this to be like, dude, what? You didn't like it? Fuck you. You're a whore. You have an OnlyFans. Like, you're a fucking psycho, dude. You're like a perverted, demented psychopath. How the fuck do you live every day of your life? Holy shit. Anyway, let's hear what Joey Swole has to say. By the way, Joey Swole is a very funny name and a very funny guy in general. First and foremost, as I've said before, there is a big difference between staring at somebody and simply looking or glancing at them. So why did this man look at you? Well, you're in front of him off to the side. You're in his peripheral. You're also taking a video with your camera pointed directly at him and you're talking to yourself. He's probably watching you wondering, what is she doing? I know I would. Yeah, by the way, that is actually the only good take on this one where if you're at a gym and you're filming yourself and I have done this many times over in like public gyms where I used to go to, I used to film myself all the fucking time. Like you're doing something that's inappropriate. You're filming someone else, <laughs> you know? You're filming other people that is like in your in the, in the field of vision. So ultimately, you are also doing something that is cringe. And I am literally a person who has done this cringe many, many times over. So that's something that you also need to consider as well. Some people are like, what the fuck is he filming? You know what I mean? Like they look over. Also, you talk about why would this man come over and help me load my plates? Well, if you watch the video, he sees that you struggle putting plates on the other side. That part, that part, I think, is just being overly charitable to the to the dude who came over. I'm being honest. I think this is dishonest. This is like too charitable. No, the dude was staring. The dude was checking her out. It's He was checking her out, and he 100% used that to establish contact. It's true. Like, people do it. I have fucking done it. I think about it. Have I done it? Have I done that? Not really. Not to that degree. But, like, I've definitely found my... I definitely caught myself staring. It's true. I admit it. I admit it. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. Women do it to men. Men do it to women. Men do it to men, especially. Okay? We all have looked at other people working out at some point, even asexual people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he shouldn't have grabbed the weights. He should have just said, hey, um, do, you want, do you want help putting that on? And I saw the comment where you guys talk about this was a man trying to help out a woman because a man would never help a man. That's not true. This is not misogynist. 
<laughs> low key. I think men do help each other out with weights all the time. It is proper gym etiquette. It's the right thing to do. I was talking to uh, my trainer and other people about this, and they literally were like, I am more reluctant to uh, help uh, women in the gym because I don't want them to feel uncomfortable like I'm like uh, patronizing them. I'm more readily available to help men than I am uh, to help women because I don't want to, I don't want them to feel like I'm undermining their strength. Also, like, trust that if I need help, I'll ask. No, people are so socially awkward. What the fuck? No, I don't think, I don't think people, you, it's, it's infinitely better. I think, in my opinion, in my experience, you're more likely to literally ask to help someone than get asked. Nobody ever fucking asks for help, dude. Come on. Even motherfuckers that are struggling. Dude, I started going to the gym over... I started going to this other fucking gym for a little bit, right? And, like, I saw so many dudes who were just, like, struggling to put the fucking weight up. And I'm literally... I'm on the bench press across from this dude. And I'm watching him fucking almost die underneath the fucking weight. And we establish eye contact. And I'm just, like, waiting for him to be like, hey, you know, like... I'll come over and spot you. I'm like giving him a nod, right? And he's just like, nope. He's just not doing it until I'm like, hey, do you need help? I, I can I can spot you, you know? Motherfuckers would rather die under the weight than ask for help. That's crazy. No, you're wrong about that. But it's very sad that you took an act of kindness, this man doing something for you, being kind, and turned him into a... Like, I don't think he was like just kind. I think he was a little bit of a hard dog. He was miring. He was looking, Okay. That part is normal. Exactly, it's not as normal, uh, but normal is patriarchal. Dude, Noam Chomsky, you're being fucking insane. If, look, first and foremost, patriarchal constructs removed from the fucking conversation, that interaction would be the most normal interaction on the fucking planet, and anyone that got mad at that would be looking like a whole-ass buffoon. The only reason why there's redeemable qualities on her experience and on her perspective is that it's a it's a persistent problem and it's understandable that she could have felt a little skeezed okay a little peeved by the the behavior that she has most likely experienced time and time again her reaction though on the other hand is also like kind of fucking aggro yeah, trying to blast this dude i think this is a, a a a byproduct of like everyone trying to turn every aspect of their lives into content like she's just like trying to turn this dude into like a like a pest when he did not meet the bar of being a pest. Probably if she wanted to, she could have found someone being a pest to her easily. But it, it is 100% for the views. Bullying goes huge on TikTok with the audience interactions. Like, that's not... that. That's that's wild. Like, he's in between his fucking... He's doing hyper extensions. He's in between his set. He's just glancing over, like, three three four times like that's crazy like it does not meet the it's just normal okay it's just a normal thing that's crazy he's literally not using the machine bro no he was you're not seeing it in between uh the the cuts no he was he was using the machine five ads five pounds that's how i knew by the way when i saw this that's when i knew my man thought he was the riz god okay look you might have been there at a certain point have you ever been to the gym if you've ever, he, he thought he was the Rizzler, okay? Look, 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 look. Watch, when he gets off the, the machine, he's like, I got you, babe. <laughs> These 35 pounders, too heavy for you. He thought he was that guy. Does this meet the fucking, uh, the, the, the bar of like public naming and shaming being called feral? I don't think so. All Zoomers do is hate the other genders. Yeah, no, literally. I love, Hasi, I love you, but I think your proximity to gym bros is blinding your judgment a bit. Brother, if you think this interaction is, like, a violently misogynistic one, you have to reconsider, like, the universe. No, he's staring. Uh, he stares a couple times, okay? He definitely is checking her out. I already said it. I already admitted it. He also walks over there thinking this is a good way to help her out and maybe have a conversation, maybe start a conversation with her. Once again, also, it's annoying but it doesn't meet the barrier of like sex pest. It is a perfectly normal human interaction. He should not have grabbed the weight. If he hadn't grabbed the weight, and if he was like walking over just to grab his like cleaning equipment and then simultaneously turned around and was like, hey, do you need help with that? Then it's per it's fine. It's 10-10, you know, you were, and then he backs away and then it's over, right? If that's what happened, then that's fine. That's a perfectly normal interaction. What the fuck? Like, you don't know. Human beings are, are social animals, okay? 
We're social animals. It's fine. It's normal. You're being, you're being fucking insane if you think that it's like abnormal to be social, okay? Jesus Christ. Yeah. He shouldn't have grabbed the weight. That's it. That's, his, that's the no, biggest okay. problem there. Every dangerous interaction starts out with a perfectly normal man. For a woman, it is different. We have to be on guard about everything. I get that women need to, uh, women feel they need to be hyper vigilant, but she was watching him way more than he was watching her. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the fucking, I understand the hyper vigilance, especially at the gym, okay? I get why, like, there are uh, female only gyms and shit. I get that, bro. You just don't fucking get it. I never look at a girl before I initiate contact. In fact, I go so far as to never talk to girls. Yeah, this is like, this is the MG toe shit, dude. This is literally fucking women being like, no, men need to literally go their own way. And by that, I mean, Never talk to a woman. Never look at a woman. Just fucking... Actually, just die. It's better if you die. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Come on. There are going to be social interactions that are not, like, 100% perfect, okay? This is one of them. Adjusting my shorts because I think I'm the problem. I blame myself because of misogyny. Like, there are valid components to everything she's saying here. I, I, I've seen it. The the part where she's like adjusting her clothes and she's like clearly uncomfortable in her gym uh, gear that she was wearing. That sort of stuff is valid. It's valid. But like, it's obvious that she is also milking it a little bit. You know what I mean? It's a weird situation. It's a weird situation because like, she's talking about an all too common experience that women feel, but she's also like kind of manipulating the situation to milk it. When the person... The, the the person that like did this infraction did not actually go the the step where it is literally a fucking you know uncomfortable and awkward situation and it's wild because like it's fucking tiktok discourse and here she she made an explanation for it okay she made an explanation what the hell is an underage 21 year old it's an exaggeration because i'm 411 very petite and look like a child now i want to die so what's up it, it, problematic height gap discourse what the fuck what the fuck does that mean Sorry, you're too short to to engage in consensual adult sexual acts with your partner. You defended her? Ain't no way. No, I'm not fucking defend. I spent the entire fucking conversation literally saying her the experience that she is channeling here does not meet the fucking bar of like actual harassment that happens regularly in the gym while simultaneously fucking telling you that this is an instance where... It goes too far. Like, it didn't go... It didn't hit the fucking sex pest uh, note. And yet, she made it... She tried to manipulate the situation into making it seem like it did. Not every awkward interaction that you have throughout your day deserves the the uh, TikTok brigade. The TikTok discourse brigade. He didn't press. He looked. He saw. He came over and thought he could do a, a, a Riz moment. He, he thought he was the Rizzler. He was not him. And he walked the fuck away. That's it. That social interaction is probably going to eat away at his, uh, at his, uh, you know, at his mind for the next week, for the next month, maybe, where he's like, "Fuck, man, I'm, just, I, I really fucking sucked on that one. That was shit. It didn't work. The only thing that was like weird is that he grabbed the weight instead of fucking asking. That's it. But now it's like, you know, it's probably going to eat away for him permanently, because <laughs> now it's on TikTok and it's made a permanent. Have you read the essay on West Elm Caleb and the Panopticon? It talks about shit like this in a really smart way. I covered the West Elm Caleb saga. The person who started the West Elm Caleb shit literally said I was like a violent misogynist who was like trying to attack her. Luckily, no one gives a shit anymore, but like everyone fully understood that that person was being insane. Not every single fucking interaction or not every single social conquest that like is started by an otherwise marginalized group of people is always going to be fucking valid, even if they are teetering on the edge of valid concerns. This is one of them. This broke left his brains. I don't know why. Her feelings are legitimate and the dude shouldn't be crucified. It's not even complex and it shows how quickly dudes are to jump on the misogyny train. I made a tweet and so many leftists were telling me how women are worrying too much or it's her fault somehow. I think her uh, awkward social interaction reception is valid, but the fact that she like put it on fucking blast and made it into like a made it into like a larger social conversation is silly because it's not this wasn't like a experience that that met that. He damn near tried to kidnap her. Yeah, he did. That was crazy. I saw that. Both of them didn't behave perfectly. Ultimately, her making a video about it is what makes her look worse, unfortunately. I mean, the whole, like, I look underage is crazy to me. That that part is like, what the fuck? The reason she's that aggro about it is because of how many times this happened to her, not because he's the worst instance. Okay, but your charitability is like, I'm not even discounting her experiences. I'm saying that this is true. This happens all the fucking time. She's very visibly uncomfortable about her outfit even, and she shouldn't be. 
in a perfect society, she would not be. But like, this is a microaggression that uh, does not meet the barrier of like normal human beings looking at that and going, oh yeah, you should farm this interaction. Then wait for another fucking clip where, uh, you know, you will inevitably get where it is actually fucking weird and problematic. There's going to be plenty of weirdos that still end up defending the man in that circumstance as well, as we saw. Because, again, people were, like, shitting on her, saying she has a OnlyFans, and, and, and saying that that's reason alone that you can, like, hypersexualize her in every circumstance. That is psychotic. That's psychotic. This shit makes me understand the Radlibs going, like, f kill all men. Like, that's we You're a weirdo. Why? Why is it that, like, on the internet now, like, being the weirdest guy in your social friend group is now giving you online clout. It, it doesn't make sense to me, okay? It's, you're so fucking gross, dog. Holy fuck. Like, this is not the logical, the brilliant fucking uh, logic trap that you locked someone into, okay? Just because someone has an OnlyFans doesn't mean, like, they don't want to be fucking sexualized at the goddamn gym. You're such an idiot. Her mistake pales in comparison to the dudes in the replies labeling all gym going women as doing it for the attention. Yeah, I know, I know. Men never fucking miss a beat to just be horny, psychopathic apes, okay? It's weird as fuck. That's why I said I hate every single fucking person involved in this, okay? And unironically, I think it's like a social media component. It's just that, like, you can't just be weird and leave it there. You can't have an awkward social interaction without it turning into a goddamn fucking Twitter discourse thing. It is very frustrating. Ironically, the guys in the comments that are like, this slut deserved it and like fucking, uh, this doesn't even happen. What a fucking idiot. Uh, like all this shit. You are the reason why so many fucking women also feel uncomfortable. You are the mentally ill fucking weirdo. Holy shit, dude. And if you don't want someone like that to feel uh, good about their like conquest and that the, that like hyper moral Protestant ass fucking uh, shaming conquest that they're engaging in, then don't fucking immediately prove her right by being a dumb, sick pervert ape. Okay, Jesus Christ, I hate this. It's like it's this never ending saga of like taking human interaction, which is always hard to deconstruct, especially from the outside. But it's hard to deconstruct even when you're in it. And turning it into like black and white, uh, uh, these like black and white rule abiding conversations. It's it, it just like, oh, well, this guy fucking, he, he was being perverted or this guy's not being a pervert. He could, he could have just like, he could have just fucking came over there and he was just like trying to help her out with the weights. Like, no, he was, he was staring. He was looking. He was. I don't know why people have to lie about that. You know what I mean? But what I'm trying to say is that like, he didn't do anything. He, he was just awkward. He didn't do anything fucking uh, abysmal. He didn't do anything absolutely wrong, but we're going to have to watch more videos of these because now this is a trend. It's a real conversation. It is a real issue in gyms, especially where, uh, like, you know, women go into gyms. They, they are victims to this all the fucking time. And now it is a battle line drawn on fucking gender terms once again because TikTok loves that shit. All Zoomers know is eat hot chip, be bisexual, charge their phone, and fucking hate the other genders. That's all they know. Everything on TikTok turns into like, men are the fucking kings, dude, and women are whores and sluts, or women are fucking queens can, that can do no wrong, and men need to be castrated. Why the fuck can't people just have a normal goddamn conversation? Do you not have mothers? Do you not have sisters? Do you not have fucking parents? Like a, like a father figure? I hate it. It's like, I, I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm the insane one because I'm not as insane as everybody else on this shit. Come on, bro. You're doing a fucking handstand. Like you're doing a handstand in the middle of the gym. Of course, some, some people are going to look. What the fuck? I mean, he he didn't even finish his rep, by the way. He very clearly is looking. But, like, dude, it's, it's just an impressive move. What the fuck? Shit like this unironically makes me feel like, what's up? Like, should we be doing the, the... Should we be living under Sharia, actually? Are human beings not not ready for just normal? Like, being normal? Is that what we... We gotta be doing, like, aggressive fundamentalist Sharia, not, like, centralized, aggressively fundamentalist Sharia law? Separate gyms? What the fuck? How is it turned around? We're like fucking Zoomers 
in their hyper woke state turn that into like no this is actually 100 percent happening because like this guy is a is a weird pervert who's gonna fucking kidnap her like holy fuck is he looking yes is he staring yes he didn't even finish his fucking rep okay those were the worst russian twists i've ever seen in my goddamn life he did three that's a hard exercise okay i'll say it i don't like it i don't, I don't like the russian twist but it goddamn yeah, he, he dropped it after three and looked. Someone's doing a fucking handstand. Yeah, I, I would look too. You're at the gym taking a video, doing something you want to post on social media for people to watch, but you're upset that someone at the gym in person is looking at you? So this part of it is frustrating because this is like not logic you're not trapping someone into like this mental logic and now i feel like joey swole is just gonna make the joey swole is now gonna be the arbiter of this kind of content this is his shtick now he's doing this now it's clear like his last tweet was a banger now he's just gonna make all of these tiktoks he's gonna look for women doing like stitch talks or he's gonna look for women who's doing like oh they're staring at me at the gym with like fucking 200 views and then he's going to stitch them to his gigantic fucking audience. And now that's his shit because that pops off. So the other side of it is like also popping off. You know what I mean? Filming yourself at the gym because you want to post it versus like a human being that's there in your periphery staring is different. Especially if the follow-up to that stare is also a social interaction that you don't want to have. Especially if it leads to pestering. So like clearly I don't I haven't even seen the full video but there's a difference there like there's a difference I just I hate this dude I hate this maybe I'm becoming old but like I hate the the financialization of like every interaction I hate the constant fucking naming and shaming I hate like the the lack of context and lack of nuance that people want to uh to the people want to apply to like every social scenario i just said by a twitch streamer i i mean yeah said by a fucking twitch streamer but if i don't know if you're new here or not but like this is how i this is a a concept that i apply fairly rigidly and fairly regularly to like most of these kinds of naming and shaming operations it's very frustrating it's so weird this is not how human beings operate in the real world and Quite frankly, it shouldn't be how human beings operate in the real world. And I hate that it's like the more we live on the internet, the more we do things in the physical space, specifically for points that we get in the internet space. And that is definitely something that we're doing. Uh, the more I feel like it changes the way we interact with human beings in the real world. And I fucking hate that. It's so strange, dude. What, what the fuck do you want? What do you want? What, what do you want? Like not every interaction deserves hyper scrutiny like this and then uh and and the lack of charitability in that hyper scrutiny and the monetization component built on top of that makes it just awful everyone ends up eating everyone ends up making money off this you know joey swole is making money off this because now he knows maybe he he cut one out maybe he cut the first video the first time he ever did this and it blew up because it was a valid one right now he's looking for any probably looking for any kind of like oh they're staring at me at the gym type video so we can make another five million watched uh banger you know so in a weird way what joey's doing is not that different than what the what that girl is doing where she's like looking for uh, a, a way to to monetize like an awkward moment and uh make it out to be something worse that video got 2490 views it's getting she wasn't even saying he's like, uh, you know, staring, being creepy rapist. He's just saying that like, he was angry. 2,419 likes on this video. Uh, Joey Swole's video, even on Twitter, a secondary platform, already has uh, 103,000 likes, 4.8 million views. Do better. Who here after Joey Swole? No one was mad. Just admiring your strength. Don't make it negative. Joey's literally amplifying the problem he's complaining about. Exactly. Someone needs to put a fucking stop to this, okay? I'm going to be as charitable to Joey as I possibly can. People say that Joey is like a positive gym guy, okay? He wants the gym to be a positive influence. If you want the gym to be a positive influence, you got to put a stop to this. You got to put a stop to like, uh, it, it starts with you, you know what I mean? Don't look for videos with like three fucking likes to just make an example out of them. Are there instances where people are being fucking weird? Sure. He's actually really nice, but you're right. It's just eating off the trend. Exactly. You're doing the same shit. You're like, you're unnecessarily adding into like the negativity in the fucking, uh, in the gym space.
I see what he's trying to do, but it caused a lot of hate and backlash towards the people making the mistake. Yeah, like some of those people are being fucking weird. But I don't think those people, even the first girl that was like, even the first girl that filmed herself and was like, this guy's being a fucking pest. This guy's being creepy or whatever. Like even she doesn't, I think, deserve the ire of the brigade of like horny, fucked up, mentally stunted incels that are uh, coming after her now. Being like, you're a whore. You did OnlyFans. You deserve this. We're on this never-ending cycle of every single person, like, constantly looking to, to farm impressions off of one another, ironically, without consent, which, in a, in a weird way, like, makes it worse overall for the people who are, like, filming the other people and then, like, calling them sex pests and shit, too. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Nobody likes bullies, but in a weird way, everyone is now becoming the bully in their effort to be the bully hunter. It's odd. Joey Swole maybe wanted to shit on bullies in the gym. And now he himself has become a bully when he's looking at people with like 2,000 likes and fucking blasting them on a timeline with their with his gigantic following. You know what I mean? Gyms are bad. People should stay home and play Val. Gyms are incredible. I love gyms, okay? I want the gym to be a place where it's comfortable uh, for everybody because it is truly an incredible vessel for self-improvement. Makes you feel better. It's an awesome thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful experience. And I support everyone going to the gym. You know what I hate? Like, for example, sometimes people will, like, film a fat person in the gym. You know what I mean? Struggling or whatever. That's one of the most disgusting things you could do. Bully that motherfucker, Joey. Why are you bullying all these other people, you know? That's fucked up. He's done that before on record, by the way. Yeah, just keep doing that then. That's what I'm saying.